Nishikori stunned world number one Novak Djokovic at the US Open to become Japan's first Grand Slam singles finalist. The 10th seed won 6 4 1 6 7 6 7 4 6 3 and will take on Roger Federer or Marin Silic for the title on Monday. Nishikari, 24, coached by Michael Chang, responded superbly after losing the second set to claim the biggest win of his career. It's just an amazing feeling. Beating the number one player, said Nishikari. I hope it's big news in Japan. I feel the support from Japan. It's 4 o'clock in the morning but I hope a lot of people are watching. The 24-year-old had needed 10 sets and over 8 hours to win his previous two matches, but produced a remarkable performance as temperatures hit 36 C and humidity soared. It was really tough conditions today, it felt a little bit heavy and humid, he added. I guess I like long matches. Few expected Nishikari making his Grand Slam semi-final debut, to have the stamina to test Djokovic after his epic wins over Milos Ronick and Stan Wawrinka. The Japanese player made the better start though, breaking twice to take the first set against a strangely flat Djokovic who was struggling on serve. It was still no surprise when the Serb, playing in his 24th major semi-final, raced through the second set in half an hour as Nishikari appeared to finally be flagging. A dramatic third game early in the third set proved pivotal as Nishikari survived four break points and seven deuces to hang on, bringing the crowd on side as they got behind the underdog. Flashing backhand and forehand winners had Djokovic reeling as Nishikari broke for 5-3, but a nervous service game followed and he double faulted when trying to close out the set. Again, it appeared that Djokovic would finally assume control and power on to a fifth straight U.S. final, 